daughter. She deserved it. And truth be told, I never liked her anyway. And she betrayed us. You don't know that. She told us. She was in love. She would have said anything. Who knows what she did or didn't do? She had to go. It's bad, but... Dilly, I do believe you got a cold heart. Now, you know that ain't true. Of course it ain't, but I'm scared. Me too. Me too. I just don't think Molly could have told him that much. If she told them where we are, that's enough. True. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. I don't know what to tell you, Mary Beth. Things are tense right now. So, how do we fix this? Uh, I ain't sure. Uh, really ain't. We'll work something out. Morning, I suppose. Morning, dear. Can't you see what's happening here? Oh, I see what's happening. Eh, you just won't admit it. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. Oh, no, let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. <sighs> Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. 
Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. Be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um... <coughs> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. <coughs> Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. 
Monroe. Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> new lands. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall kill you. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. I got a shot. Get off me. What you doing? Oh, you won't get Monroe, you're with me. Up 
bond, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around. Station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hanged for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? I'm... I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes, I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's... He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. <sighs> I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad, either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend.
Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. It's funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer. The bodies lay so thick, they could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. What have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. she's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left, around the lake. She's down here somewhere. She's not gonna wait around. Wolves shouldn't come so close to people. Yeah, it's strange. When the whole country was wild, they could go where they liked. Now they're stuck hiding in the few corners of wilderness we got left. It's a feeling with which I can sympathize. This ain't a country for wild animals, nor wild men, neither. Not anymore, it seems. You hear that? 
Yep. Quickly now. This way. Up there. On the outcrop. You see her? Let's go around it. Okay, I'm with you. We're on to her. Come on. Okay. Damn! I can't see her! Let's get up to the top. Have a look around from up there. View loves hills, don't you, boy? You eat them up for breakfast. Easy. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Yep. That was her dinner. <laughs> now, where'd she get to? My guess. She's gone somewhere over there. Well, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. Shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we got a chaser. Let's chase her. All right. Come on. Quick! While we got eyes on her. Damn it! Too slow. It looks like she's headed into the woodland. We're gonna have to track her through the scrub. Better to be on foot. Send your horse somewhere safe. Get going, boy. There's a wolf about. You went in there, all right. We got a tracker. Now you want to take the lead, or shall I? I'd prefer if you did it. That's all right. Okay, I'll track her. Stick to me. Got the trail. This way. Keep behind me. Let's take this slow. Keep your gun out, just in case. She could be a half mile in front of us. Or behind that next bush. Keep your eyes up, okay? I got mine in the dirt. Let's head down here. I think we're close. Hey, up there. Is that the she wolf? My complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? Goddamn! 
Of them. Look at him. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> they brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, and I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. You can speak the stories he'd tell. This big. <laughs> Almost a shame we killed it.
Welcome back. Uncle Arthur. You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah, he had to leave. Sorry. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Uncle Arthur. Something soon if you can, Arthur. Yeah, I will. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I've come up with some ideas for ways we could improve things around here if you want to take a look. Appreciate it, Pearson. Mrs. Adler. You okay? Peachy. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, fighting, and lying. It makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them O'Driscolls. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. I saw Colm swing. I... I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me. And to my husband? Like, you're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. I'll tell you what, I'll do it, but there's something you can help me with. Abigail, Jack, John, make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done, but when the time comes... Or how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me... We're more ghosts than people, but them, they, they could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can? Thanks, Arthur. Okay. 
Come on. Hey. Hey. What's going on? I think there's a bunch of them in there, mostly drunk. One of them is a fat fella with a beard. Him? He's mine. Sure. How are we doing this? We're just going in. <clears throat> okay, then. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set it off and then we'll... We'll take it from there. Take it from there? Okay. So... No real plan then. Oh, I got a plan. Now come on. Is that a woman? Jesus! Who the hell is that lady? Help! Oh shit!
working? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. Mm. I ain't even got that. <laughs> Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. Yeah. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur.